Now, let's go, I want to show you some navigational features. Notice that QuickBooks is like most Windows-based programs. We have drop-down menus, which are really cool. And these menus are inclusive of all the transactions or functions that you can do in QuickBooks. And each one has different things, just depending on what it is that you want to do. So you have those drop-down menus. Notice also that you have icon, the icon bar across the top. And the first one is the home page, which is what we're looking at right now. The company snapshot, again, is something new in the 2009 version. And we'll talk about that later. The customer center, vendor center, the employee center, online banking, report center, and all these additional icons are all customizable. So you can take them off if they don't apply to you, and you can add additional icons and as we get into the training I will show you how to add icons. Another thing to note about the home page is that it looks really really busy and some people look at it and think oh my gosh this is overwhelming. Well trust me there's a method to the madness and please don't get too overwhelmed. I promise to walk you through and explain it all. Notice in this section this is our vendor center. This is a vendor section and everything in this section relates to vendors. Vendors are people that you pay. Okay. The next section is the customer center, which is in our customer section. Everything in this section relates to our customers. So again, customers are people that pay you. The bottom section is our employee center, and everything in this section relates to our employees. Up here in the company section, these are some general things that are related to the company. And in our last section is our banking section, which is related to banking, anything related to the banking account. So that is our overview of QuickBooks. Now we're going to jump right in and get started on our next module. See you on the other side.